Make enough money to not worry about money. Like it's a it's an amazing it's so feeling. Much like freedom. really, when people get GCSEs, it's so that they can have a job and they can earn the money they need to like live. Um, but I've already done that, so I don't need GCSEs. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video, and welcome to the world famous Fizz family. You may have heard of them. They're famous for uprooting their kids at the drop of a hat and filming such amazing videos as blindfolding my daughter walking through a shopping center actually blindfolded her walking through this shopping center up the elevator just so that she could give her a surprise for absolutely no reason whatsoever it was absolutely insane there was no re there was no surprise at the end of the blindfold when she took it off so there was no reason for her to have it. it was just weird insane and then there was Are you ready it's not there. it's not here <laughs> <laughs> on christmas day a few years ago they made her wait all day until late afternoon just to open this sad little book that is it the only thing she got for christmas was this sad little book I did a good job. Oh, what's that? I knew it. Does this say Sienna? I love these sorts of books. Oh, cool. I That's good, isn't it, Sienna? Father Christmas. Actually giving her birthday presents away, which I find absolutely... I know that it's good to give children's hospitals toys, but not the birthday presents. Donated her birthday presents, and they were really happy to see her in that, but today... But we're not talking about any of that today. What we are talking about today is the education. What have they done to those kids' education since the moment that they moved off to Lanzarote? And in their own words, they have finally managed to give their kids the private school education that they needed from council house to private school they must be proud because uh, we were just saying like if we went to a private school in england we'd feel really out of our day and, and now we're going and taking them to a private school in a foreign country which just feels really bizarre and really hard to get our heads around but what an amazing opportunity for their kids to go and learn in a foreign country in a different culture it just it is actually a really good opportunity for them. Um, but she said there was traffic today, so that's why I was late. Did you have a good traffic. day at school then? Yes, I did. However, that amazing opportunity that they were given lasted a mere four months, not even four months, in fact, maybe three and a half months before the parents decided that they would whip them out of school, take them back from Lanzarote as he moved back to the UK but why for three and a half months what exactly are you going to achieve in that period of time I mean you know it's, it's my first day of school not my first day of school I've been to two schools before I'm that says everything and that's so so sad she is not even six years old and she is on her way to her third school her third different school in her short life she's going to and she's not even six years old and now today not only is she going to be going back to school but it's going to be a brand new school for her so last night yeah i had an email from the school yeah and it was saying about they wanted some things for parents to donate yeah and so I was skimming through it all and there was different things what they wanted and then it said see you all on the 11th. I'm really sorry but I got the date wrong. Oh. It's next Monday. Oh. <laughs> I'm really sorry, it's entirely my fault. Imagine getting the dates wrong that your kids go into school. There's only one other person that I know that's done that. <gasps> That's right, isn't it, Sarah? Due to my mess up yesterday, 
This is take two. I'm really yeah. excited for you, Mia. And we had to get up really early, extra early for this fam, because Mia's school is an hour's drive away. So that is why we're like in a bit of a rush. But yeah. we're going to make it, Mia, don't worry. Now, this was absolutely unbelievable. Just starting high school for the first time, starting high school, and they decide to take their kids away to stay in a caravan the weekend before she starts school so in the morning of starting high school she is one hour's drive away how insane are they did it that just shows the level of don't care just doesn't matter gonna do what we want when we want it doesn't matter about the kids Something which we've been wanting to do for ages and we've been waiting until we were going to be able to do it Basically until we could afford it. We've been saving <laughs> up until we can afford to do it And today I was finally able to book it. It's a holiday it's a trip, What we're going to be going on and it's yeah. going to be to a continent which we've never been to before and it's going to be coming up in about two weeks now oh, really two weeks yeah not long oh at all gosh. not long at all and we're going to be going to one of the places we've been speaking about for ages which is <laughs> america yeah now this was weird they went to school for between september and december as most kids do they returned to school in january as normal by the looks of things and by the end of january this was the 24th of january they decided to go on holiday for a month now there are no school holidays in the uk that lasts a month at that time there's only one week half term holiday during that period of time which is towards the end of february and they took their kids out for a month now i don't think they got enough stick for this because there was no indication what was going on. I've had a look and all I can find is that Sienna for definite was going to school the day before they went away. So she was still in school. They hadn't homeschooled or, or anything. It was just weird. Just took them out. So guys, this is going to be our last night in the creation station. So we're going to try and get an early night and then get ready for tomorrow because it's going to be a super action-packed day tomorrow. Obviously. Early night yeah. after all this sugar? Yes, I, well, that probably is not going to be happy, but I've got a question for you guys. So Danny Fizz didn't give away completely where we are going. So we're going to California in the USA, but can you guess maybe what the different thing is that we're going to be going to? Yeah. That random we're doing place. doing three trips in yeah. one. Now that one was a couple of months later. They'd come back from their holiday in january february they went back to school presumably and then in may they went away for another week or so but again it was not during school holidays so they took the kids out of school during school time and other families that i know get a lot of stick for that that something amazing has come up for the girls which is going to involve us going to la so as from next saturday we're actually going to be going back there for quite a while actually a bit of an extended stay which we're really excited about but we can't tell you like lots and lots of details about it all we can tell you at the moment is we're going to be staying somewhere absolutely amazing we're going to be there for quite an extended duration we're going to be going for lots of different like little um auditions <laughs> Aud yeah. auditions i don't know how to word it other yeah. than that i was going to try and say it in different ways other than auditions but the auditions I think we can say that so um, lots of exciting opportunities coming up and as some of you guys already know because you've been following us for a long time you know how much we love to travel and see the world and meet loads of you guys so it's really exciting because we're going to hopefully get to meet some of you guys over there in the US meet some US Fizz fans US yeah. Fizz fans yeah. and then also we get to take little karma know, on a little trip around the world up. because after LA we don't know where we're going to be going to after that we may come back to the UK obviously we've got the show to come back for but we may go to some other 
other countries in Europe. We may even go to Australia. We don't know. We've oh got Scott. God, yeah, we just basically so decided, cool. as well as if you already know as well, we tend to have short tenancies. We never own our houses. We don't own a house, guys. We don't own a car. We don't own many things. And this is how it's been for a long time. We came back to the UK because we wanted to come here for other opportunities and mainly because we wanted to have another baby. And now that Carmen's old enough, because she's now got her passport, we want to do some more traveling around the world. So LA is going to be one of the first stops. We're just going to go with the flow, guys. Yep. And then who still, knows where we're going to go. Still following that mantra, by the way, of just say yes to every opportunity. And we've yeah. been doing that ever since we started YouTube. Yeah. And things just go crazy and life gets pretty. And then by the end of the year, October it was, they finally decided, I guess, that they were getting itchy feet and decided to up and leave the country again and that was it for the school forever basically just why who needs school right you know just took them out and away they went not a second thought the point is that when you're in school and you you try to develop friendship and start to learn things and then you get whipped out it kind of disrupts everything so they're doing the kids no favors you can't just put them in school for a few months and then take them off again it doesn't work like that education so we kind of do a little bit of a mix of our homeschooling where some of it is us some of it is online and then some of it is in-person tutoring so she's gone to something which is essentially a bit like a school where they're just like doing tutoring of smaller groups so she should be hanging out with some kids there it's meant to be a really nice mix as well of all people from all over the world really laid back as well and they can choose projects and what they want to learn about which she's really excited about because Sienna is just so creative and she is quite independent as well and she can be quite stubborn so this suits her really really well and I'm sure she's going to be Miss Chatbox there as well isn't she Mia? Yeah. So this morning when I took her to school she was talking the whole way about how excited she was and then she also said when I woke up this morning mum I just sprung out of bed because I had school today and I was so excited so that was lovely to Aww. drop her off in such a good mood. And that says everything you need to know. She was excited for going to school because she doesn't go to school and she wants to go to school. This was in Dubai and by this point I guess they hadn't been in she hadn't been in school for a good few months so she really wanted to go to school I guess go go figure isn't that Georgie go figure we're now in the UK obviously and um so we decided to come here until we can go back to Dubai when they let us do you not see what you did there Georgie in the last clip I showed that Sienna was so excited for going to school and then a few months later off you go because you want to have another kid you want to go back you want to travel you want to have your kid in the uk you go back to the uk and take your kid, take sienna out of school again but so i think it's really really nice that the girls get to work in nature yeah. although in dubai your bedroom does overlook the sea it looks gorgeous doesn't yeah, it yeah. absolutely beautiful but it's nice that they get to be in nature because i feel like when you go to school you spend most of your day in the classroom but when you're homeschooled you can work and learn wherever you want so you can work in your back garden on the comfort of your own bed you can go to the local park you can go to the beach even there's loads of places like we we love the freedom don't we of homeschooling so what is your favorite thing sienna about homeschooling apart from being able to work with you want. I'd probably say that you've always got like your family's help like obviously you do get, get to have your teacher's help when you're at school but it's nice to have your family's help. I know in most schools you, you're not really allowed to have like fun you're not allowed to like laugh a bit. Yeah schools can be yeah. strict can't they when you're in the classroom they do want you to fully concentrate on what the teacher's mm, saying. I used to always get in trouble so you know. I was a tall. Well do you know what I think? I think you should be ashamed. This whole setup smacks very much of being staged i don't think that this is how you set up for a minute i don't think this is how you do everyday school if you do school at all okay and i used to get shouted at for that i like that i just have the freedom to work like if i want to work in the evening and i feel creative then then i can go on with work then or if i want to work really early in the morning or i want to do it in the middle of the day like whatever time i want i can do it whenever i want yeah yeah, we do tend to say to you, you've got to do some learning in the day. Yeah. But, but if you want to have a lay in, we do let you, don't we? Yeah, and then I'll just make up for it later on. Yeah, so because... So it's nice to have that freedom. I feel like a lot of teenagers, they have to get up very early to go to yeah. school. Whereas you are able to sleep through and get the right amount of sleep mm. you need without an alarm clock, aren't you? Which is a mm. bonus. Mm. And then one thing I love about homeschooling is obviously that I get to have all of the children with me all day, which I really, really like. We get to be like a really close-knit family. But then also we get to travel the world because when you go to school... 
with most schools, you're not allowed to go on holiday or travel or to explore the world when you want. And to me, I feel exploring the world and learning about new cultures stuff is a very important, integral part of a child's education. And that's the crux of the matter, isn't it, Georgie? You, you, you. You want to have your kids around all day so they have to suffer. You want to take them out of school whenever you want. You can't do that whilst they're in school. So it's better for them to be homeschooled so you can take them whenever you want. You know your point about learning about different cultures being important? It is. But you can still do that during school time stick to school term time you can actually afford it you know and then take them away for a couple of weeks get all the culture you need you do not need to just take them whenever you want to take them from then on talk of schooling was few and far between as they moved from country to country portugal on to mexico from mexico on to costa rica and there was not not much in terms of schooling actually mentioned or done until they got back to the UK and they found out that yes they need to put their kids into some form of education the younger two have started going to nursery and now they're clickbaiting again back to school stuff because it's relatable and it brings in the views and the money but as we have seen today they do not care one jot about their kids education because what is the longest period of time that they've spent in school in the last five years three four months at a push you can't just keep putting them in taking them out putting them in taking them out it doesn't work like that it's too disruptive and they will learn nothing from it please give this video a massive thumbs up thank you very much for watching please join me again shortly for another one 